Alright guys, this is my uh, removable carrier assembly from my 1976 Ford LTD. It's a 273 gear. And um, before we get started, I'd like to clarify, this is our next victim. Hang on, I got a flashlight in my hand. Damn it. And this garbage bag don't want to cooperate, but hopefully you can tell what that is in there. There's a yolk and the uh, preload adjustment nuts, I guess, on either side. Um, you know, like them things right there. Anyways, um, the whole time I owned the car, it sounded like a roller coaster going up the street, and uh, we'll show you what happened. Um, before starting, I'd like to say this car entered my family through my mom, and I ended up trading her for a Ford Escort because she wanted the better gas mileage, and obviously I wanted the LTD because it was it was pimp as hell. So, um, <laughs> anyways, uh, before my mom, an asshole teenager, owned it much like myself only not really but anyways um this kid obviously didn't like the car it was abused things good good things did not happen to it um when she got it the passenger side head gasket was blown and the rear end made a knocking noise so it's basically just been a battle to get the car up to a good condition again since it's been in our family um you know it's only been a couple years but you know it's a good car and Definitely has some style, so we'd like to get it going again. Anyways, um, I've been driving it real happily uh, ever since last summer, but I quit driving it this fall. Um, I quit doing that because I was on the interstate, and the car was making a horrible, horrible rumbling noise um, through the floor, and I figured it was time to park it and finally replace the rear end because I knew that the carrier was bad, and I drove it like that because, you know, I figured what could I lose, or what was there to lose. So, in here, put this in close-up mode. There's your spider gears on the inside there. And there's a pin that, uh, I can't remember what rides on it, but it's, this is all cast iron. There's a pin that's rides in there, and it's supposed to be stationary. Kind of like, I thought there was two of them, maybe there's only one. Anyways, take a look at that. See the pin in there? You see how the housing's all eight out, there's bits of metal peeled up and it's just beat to hell well, that pin was knocking back and forth also let me think here I think this is the yeah this is the proper side what's funny is the axle that was good came out of this side but the splines in there you can see the internal splines on the inside we'll put this in far away mode it'll make things better see the splines in there yeah those um those were uh that whole sleeve with those splines and this gear that's sticking out, that little tooth right there, you can see it, all wiggles like crazy. It's not stationary at all, and I'm pretty sure it ain't supposed to be like that. Um, when I cracked this loose from the housing, there was bands of thick silver goop coming out, and that was metal filings, I guess, and, you know steel paste basically mixed in with the gear oil oh hang on I got a phone call all right that can wait for a second anyways um yeah that's my rear end and that's the damage so I'm gonna quit recording I got somebody here to come pick me up I'm gonna go hang out so but um yeah there's a yolk and all that um, I'm waiting on an axle right now I also gotta get the bearings pressed on to the new axles when they uh, when the new one shows up and everything should be fine after that so, thanks for watching. I love you all. This was Tim with your Ford 9-inch carrier that is destroyed. Lots of good usable parts. This might come up for sale a little bit here. Housing's good.